What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we are at war with Russia once again. Um, but I'm, what we are chiefly doing is preparing the ground for a war against Austria, which is likely to uh, be quite bloody. So building up our strength in Rome, occupying this key position, which will give us cover over the this river. And we can hopefully draw in some Austrian troops for some easy victories there. We do have fairly substantial Austrian navy actually growing in the Med. So we likely need to match that with our own um, naval growth. So as much as I'm sending all my ships out to trade zones, I will need to probably draw, uh, bring that in a bit. So we need one... We need two in the Ivory Coast, which is lucky because that's what we've got. Uh, West African Trade Theatre, sorry. The Ivory Coast is the other side of the continent. There we go. Um, but yes, that's that's our main objective. We do have this army working its way up through France ready to join ready to do battle with the austrians but it is going to be pretty dicey so i am okay with it taking a bit longer and building up my strength because we do also have um well this army the carlitos quiroga is actually going to be they are going to position them well actually they're going to position themselves in the desert but not not here, because I don't want. I could, I could jump on Baghdad, but I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight them anymore. I don't want to fight them really. Um, I want to focus on my war with Russia, so that probably means I need to take some of these troops, or maybe even all of them, out of Anatolia, recruit a general, and then start to send more troops over to Crimea because right now the Russians and bolster this flank here because the Russians are, are on their way here as well. Um, hmm. I could potentially replace some of these arm oh. now I do want I do want to be at war with Austria. It would make sense probably to focus on Russia. But I want to try and help out France because Austria is has dominated north um, northern Italy away from the from the French so I need to make sure that we don't we don't leave them to get annihilated because all that will happen to be honest I might even just give up my not give up but withdraw my troops from the Americas except for a garrison at Boston because you know they're doing me no good over there and they're surrounded by friendly territory for the moment They would be of more use to me immediately um, in the uh, in the in the European theatre. So it's probably a good idea because it, would it wouldn't need to be a major garrison in Boston. It looks like f it looks like Austria is going after Paris. Okay, so my army that's in southern France, they are actually going to march up to. Up to um, up to Paris. If Austria takes it, we declare war because I want to take Paris from them. If they successfully take it from the French, because Paris is an incredibly valuable territory. So war with the Russians is not ideal. Not ideal at all. And I will need to recruit some more strength from Istanbul to reinforce my front line because you can see the amount of troops they are actually pushing to our front line they are avoiding my troop my positions in a, my position in Crimea generally but they are throwing in significant numbers so we need to be aware we need to be aware of that and we need to match it we do not want them um, outnumbering us 
Yeah, so it's two stacks. There's probably going to be two and a half, nearly three stacks against our one in the fort. So from an odds perspective, that starts to work. They can't... They can't... Oh, yeah. They're so, are, they, are they just going to run around us? That's probably what's going to happen. That's the issue with having a fort there that doesn't quite cover everywhere. Yeah, it's the idea that if they just run around you... Yeah, I need more men. I need to bring probably both those armies back from the Americas because even, even the... What? What? Well, I'm going to call France to help me. They've refused to join my side, so I've lost my French ally. Well, I'm sorry, France. I'm coming at you then. In the Americas. I'm going to do it. You didn't back me. So I'm going to go take Paris. And I'm not going to help you against the Austrians now. I know they, they wouldn't back me because they're my... You know, it's their protectorate. And then I've got you guys there, which I'm going to annihilate. Well, there we go. I was going to bring my troops back, but right now I think it's... I've got 36,000. That's a good amount of cash. I can take you and march you back. So if you if you do... Oh, no, you can't get a... Oh, no, I don't think you can get around me. Not the way you'd like. So you want to be part of the Belgrade garrison. Let's get some economy upgrades because we are about to do a good chunk of military spending. So at Istanbul, recruit a general's bodyguard and some one turn's worth of infantry to follow them up. Let's upgrade this Iron Master's works into a steam factory. Let's take Felix, who's been sat there the entire game, not done anything. You men are going to recruit a unit of infantry. Then you're complete. Obviously we do have an army there. Well, France has a, a navy there that could, that could attempt to stop us. All well, our naval strength is currently out of the theatre. So Portsmouth Naval Hospital. You're building a fifth rate. Let's just build some fourths there. To be honest, I might just build more fourths. Well. Like I said, France didn't France didn't back us, so yeah, I, I need to build more naval ships. France didn't back us, so we're going after them. Uh, we are going to take Albany. We are going to push down south and take Philadelphia. You may take Annapolis, but that's okay. I might actually build more strength in Boston. Sorry, France. You're the one that did this, not me. You didn't back me against Louisiana, and they're now marching an army north to try and attack me through your territory. Um, okay... There's two more fourth rates. Okay, let's bring our Mediterranean squadron over to Safaki. Let's recruit two more. Let's up oh, no, not the Jesuit College. It makes us no money. The Iron Masters works, on the other hand, and a steam engine factory will. It's the alliance is in broken between Spain and France. So we're gonna have one more turn. Because it's gonna take them forever to come up. All the way up here. Um, I mean, the French, they're not exactly weak up here either. But we've got two really good armies. So I might even be able to... Well, I can go... The garrison can punt... Well, first of all, you, Diego de Cordoba, will take Albany. Demand their surrender. This garrison will knock away this force of militia. But then they do just need to keep recruiting men... To fill out another army to clear out Fort Nashwack. We currently have no real naval strength, but that's okay. Philadelphia hates them, which they might become the United States. Catholic missionary in Morocco. Good, but let's move you up here and send you to Brussels. 
So I'm not going to declare war on them immediately. I'm going to take my army, conveniently just wander up near Paris. And let's hit end turn. So there is an Austrian army up there. I just need to garrison the, the, the port at Jerusalem. Big mistake, France. I was the last friend you had. I mean, I know they've got a lot of firepower as well. Ah, we can take him. That's right, you leave our territory. Go and attack Maryland. So now... Hmm. Yeah, they're going to raid. That's, that's okay, but it's now our stuff you're breaking. Just march northeast and take Brussels. Ooh, do we take my English army and go hit Amsterdam? I think I might. There's a chance that they jump on us and attack and land in London. Hmm. Don't try it, Russia. Well, you can try it if you like. I think we should be on for a defensive battle near the fort, but if they do manage to make it past my lines, there's that second army ready to take them out. To be honest, actually, I've got a good... I think I've got a plan. If I'm going to be at war with France, I don't want to be fighting Russia. I might just give them Crimea back. It's isolated, and there's an entire stack of troops we can use. And they will make peace. And we can make peace and we can trade. I think they'll go for it. I mean, I know it doesn't help in the long run, because it just means they're getting stronger. But they might go for it. I mean, I'm going to intercept this army and show them what happens. I'm going to intercept them. And, uh, well, they're either going to attack the fort or we're going to attack them, intercept them near the school. But hopefully if I can destroy one of their armies, when I offer them Crimea for peace and trade, hopefully they'll go for it. Hopefully. Because then that means we can maybe free up... Well, I'll bring our army back from Crimea. And we can maybe redeploy it to Europe. Because if we take Paris, Brussels and Amsterdam, then all the French territories become no longer French. So... Form a gun line. Form an infantry line. Fundamentally, in this game, if you don't know what to do, just get all your guys and drag them into a big line. Then figure out the fine points of where you want everyone to be later on. There get the Royal Crossier Guards on either flank. Right, okay. Yeah, they got a lot of guys. We will match their lots of guys by deploying our army into an actual position that makes more use of their gunfire. So our howitzers focus on the militia. So who's out here? Grenadiers, Eastern Europeans, Grenadiers, Grenadiers. Fusiliers, Fusiliers, Fusiliers on. That's not good news for us. But field artillery is just pounding shots home. So the real danger, the real danger for their for the militia is that they'll tangle us up in melee combat before we have a real good chance to do as much damage as we'd like to the rest of their fighting formations. I mean, I don't like how we've got no sound, but at the same time I don't like how these Kamloops are getting so close. Drop into square. There we go, drop back out of square. So we've got... 
everyone just opened fire, really. Who's that? Regiment of Foot. They're not going to be so easy to, to deal with. Okay, let's actually get our howitzers to engage the units that we know will be fighting us at range. And that's their, their fusiliers and so on. Good hits against the militia. The regulars on the flanks. Let's get my cavalry out on the flank. More guerrilla mercenaries. Let's again advance my cavalry up on the flank to deal with them. Let's hope we can push their militia back with, vo with our volleys. We can, and a well-placed round shot. You men hit the irregulars. 15th foot guards reload and engage 33rd so the other unit on the flank okay we've got a couple of routing units hopefully another once we pin down their regulars hopefully we're locking onto their infantry so we will fly by rank and then kill more of their cavalry rather than aiming at their cavalry one of their militia units did make it into our position, but they hit our Grenadier Guards. So, let's re-target our howitzers. Come on, kill the 22nd Regiment of Militia. Good, they've been killed, so bring you men back. I mean, you guys may as well have fire at will on. If you want to shoot your pistols at them into their backs, you're more than welcome to. There goes the cavalry. The militia are going back. Ooh. Russian Priobrazhensky, I guess. Guard musketeers. They look pretty good. Most of them did muskets didn't even fire. Okay, you guys may as well charge their grenadier guards, because... That's all you're actually doing. You are firing at the European mercenaries. Fusiliers made it to our line. Bad idea. Some grenadiers have made it, but we've got a couple of units. Real close. Tartar. Come back again. I know those Kamloops that were there before. Tartar, feel free. Let's bring our heavy cavalry back to deal with them. go you men form up in the center so i've chased i've hit their grenadier guards but it seems to just push them towards my line okay, now they're yeah so they are locked in to kill me to try and attack me so there is a line of spikes there to be careful of but if i hit their fusiliers i'm hoping i might delay their deployment of even more spikes so you guys hit the 33rd regiment you've done admirably. Hopefully you can knock out the Tartar and we could start to pivot the flanks a little bit. Let's get that cavalry out of the way because that's nothing's gonna nothing's good gonna come nothing good is gonna come from having my heavy cavalry get mobbed by infantry. Miss on the Grenadier Guards, that's a shame. No, don't engage them. Just get out of there. Got Union Swiss Line Infantry just waiting to get them. Oh, the mercenaries are back, as well as a unit of militia. So they shouldn't do... They shouldn't be particularly successful against my... Heavy Cavalry. There we go. Crescia Guards are treating them as bait. Okay, so it sounds like, actually, what happens is the Darth Mod sometimes... Because those were vanilla musket sounds. And these are Darth Mod musket sounds. Hmm. Look, look, I hate this. Because it's like, yeah, turn around and fight them. They're right there. 
Guerrilla mercenaries are still out on the flank. Let's advance you guys up. His grenadiers are gone. These grenadier guards are going to be not long for this world. You can actually chase down those fusiliers. Howitzers bombard the centre. Heavy cavalry deal death to the guerrilla mercenaries. You've got an angle on some of these units in the centre. To show you we can be vengeful. No, not vengeful. Peaceful. Peace loving faction. We will not uh, do too much damage to your guys. So, where are their spikes? There they are. So let's go. Ooh, they go all the way along. Okay, so let's make them go. Me and my general go all the way around. There we go. I think that's all of them falling back, except for these guerrilla mercenaries. Yeah. So as long as they don't. Okay, we're going to continue, but we're not going to attack the guerrilla mercenaries because they're so close to this unit of. This ping of spikes, that might cause us problems. Come on, kill the last of those fusiliers. They're done. Charge onto the Grenadier Guards. No. We've lost a couple of unit members of the staff. Oh no, and you go oh for god's sake. Must be just how the terrain how the terrain worked out. Ah, you guys killed a bunch of my could have potentially killed my general. Because you've got silly little handguns. Ah, they're done for. Well they're gonna escape. But these guys are not. Decisive victory, damn right. So hopefully that should be... We should push them away, out of our territory, back to where they came from. The first excursion into our lands was a defeat at the hands of our forces. Louisiana is steaming its way up to the... Um, up to our territories in the Americas. So. You men... Replenish Russia. Peace, trade, offer, region, Crimea. <laughs> okay. Wow. They were so they didn't they didn't care for it. Okay, what about if I just say peace and I give you Crimea? Yeah. So this guy's on his way. Diego. Fall back. Your demi cannons have been replaced with updated models. In Crimea. Well, you guys can't. Not until I build. Not until this is built. But then again, we can't build any more of that line of infantry because we've only got two of those. Don't want to build walls, because that seems like a bit of a waste. Well, you guys march over to Sinop and get ready to join them. Let's get up to Paris. Cause we, yeah, because if we landed... Well, okay, let's go to London. Because if we landed, we, we, if we landed, we could take... Amsterdam. Yeah, we could definitely take Amsterdam. We wouldn't even get much of a garrison. We could take Amsterdam and we could take Brussels. Ah, Strasbourg. Well, if we can take Paris, push on to Strasbourg. Yeah, okay, we got, we've got a way. There's a, there's a way to do this. Fleet arrives. Oh, I sent you to the wrong place. 
you man return back okay so let's get you into here and then you into here let's get another because these are all going to be trade ports so much so much stuff to buy I think I do Ooh, okay I can't go too mad with recruiting expensive troops that's part of the problem hop up to the Americas so Boston Because you men will be ready when the time comes. Because they do have they have lots of men to throw into the field. Four more turns to get quick line. That'll be the true leveller. Cambridge has started to research animal husbandry. So let's get some of these galleons out to other theatres. Upgrade this. Okay, let's. And I'm not bothered about optimizing, the, the, optimizing my agent's movement. Get to infiltrate Brussels. Hmm. Could I even use the Rome garrison as a third army? I think I could. So let's detach a fourth rate from the Mediterranean squadron. You men get aboard ship. Stage in Bristol. So we've got a full army we can land on Amsterdam. We've got a small army to land and take Brussels, an army to land and take Paris. Then whichever one's okay first, drive on Strasbourg and take them out or even... Well, no, they won't go for a peace treaty, I don't think. Okay, so I think it might be worth building some line in, in um, Madrid. Um, so Cambridge, don't don't keep researching that a bit too late game for you Let's instead go for go for far in advance get the training level increase for units what a sad state of affairs that now my my war apparatus has to focus on our former ally but nevertheless, it is what must be done. It is what must be done. So I think they're concerned about... They demand Maine and Maryland and they give us a bunch of tech. No, shove it. You want to start something? We can start something, alright. They're going to pick up that army from Marseille. This is what happens when you choose us over your protectorate, you French devils. That's right, cross back over the bridge. Perfect. Okay, I don't know if now is the is the I don't know if now is the perfect time to do it, but now is the as ideal as it can get. Because the Austrians could have attacked Paris, but they haven't. So if I take it, they'll be booted out of my territory. They may end up declaring war on us. Ooh, Anatolia for Georgia. Hmm. And a bunch of tech, which you stole from someone, but I'm not interested in any of that. We'll research it in due course. We've got plenty of 
plenty of um, academic capacity. It's, it's the Russians. It's always the Russians. They're the ones that always cause the trouble. This is why we need to we need to always maintain that pressure on the eastern flank, on our eastern flank. Knocking back that one army would be quite it just is pretty good because that's 3000 men is oh good. The army that was pushing on Crimea from the east has now retreated. I don't mind if they raid my lands, that's okay. They if they push on Okay, you're going to take some of my islands from me. Or are you actually going to sail to Europe? That would be a ballsy move. It's going to rake in Portugal. So let's get this rake to push up to Strasbourg. 36,000 cash. Okay. Again. Ooh, 10,000 for a port upgrade. No, 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 no. So, um, what we've got is we can attack Paris because the Austrians the Austrians could go for it. These two star armies combined, they could go for it, but they won't. So let's take this army. Get them out of London. Get embarked on a lone sloop. Sail out of port and not declare war on them. I can then send a fifth rate to occupy the port. Let's then begin the recruitment of more troops in London. Again, down here in Spain. We can go for... I mean, realistically, it's just whatever's in Madrid, so we shouldn't clutter up everything too much. Guardia de Cor. Let's have one of those, and a Conquistador, and a Regiment of Horse. Three field artillery. Uh, can I get... I can get 12 pounder houses. They're not bad. Let's get... In two regiment in, in Memoria del Rey, so we can start building up another fancy force because we're going to immediately be plunged into a constitution, well, not a constitutional crisis, an issue with Austria. That's going to be what's on the horizon. And I am going to want to trickle build up my Rome garrison again. Um, but you're ready to push Paris. You're ready to push Amsterdam. If I get, I mean, annoyingly, it's going to transfer. Okay, yeah. So get the fourth rate out of the way. Get you guys out of the way. So this is a problem. Because when we, once we declare war, they will... Well, it won't, it's not a massive problem. The French control zone is pretty big. So when I land, I can't land in... I can land in the port. But when we declare war, these guys are going to just only going to be able to drop off, off the coast. My army's going to march and hit France. This army here... The only way they can get to their targets quickly is if they embark in a port and carry on moving. So if I click on the French ship, you can see the dark yellow doesn't go all the way to the coast. Or it does there. Hmm. If I can't land in the port, they'll just have to dump their troops off the coast and run. So you're currently sat there doing nothing. Infiltrate Cologne. Well, I think it's the. Th I think now is the time to do it because the the war in the situation in Europe is pretty good. They're now all on the right side here as well, so we can put an army to siege Philadelphia, and we can just take New York like that. So I think that's the thing to do. We need to build. 
get some more troops. But that's the thing. That's, this is it. This is the thing to do. So let's get our... Uh oh. That was anticlimactic. We still have to... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I forgot we still had access rights. Um, okay. But we're still going to be at war with them. Because uh, I can't order 66 of them because I've not got the men. I've not got the troops to take all their cities in one go. But I can take Agustin de Mercado and go to France. They're unfriendly. They don't like us anyway. How is this impact? How is this going to impact us economically? France is our largest trade partner with sixteen thousand, so it's going to hurt. But we got to do it. I mean, I didn't realize they had all these allies, but it's too late now. Yeah, potentially a terrible idea. So hold on to that for now. Let's set up our battles. <laughs> and how many of you guys are going, no, don't do that, you idiot. Let's demand the surrender of Albany. Fine. You push on and hit Philadelphia. And then you can just start. Recruit one proper line infantry unit is better than one militia unit if you are limited so our agent got executed but this is it now we've uh you guys need to hightail it to flanders so we are at war with um Württemberg and westphalia so that is going to be an interesting one because they've got loads of troops i mean they're not good troops but they're not bad this isn't so bad this is great, because we can take Rome quickly, and because we're a good Catholic region, they won't hate us. At least not as much. So let's attack Paris and bring the city under our control. So yeah, my plan is that um, Austria will move their men out of our territory quickly. And we need to, well, we need to start churning out troops. R pretty ricky tick. Um, because <laughs> France not uh, backing us up in that one conflict was pretty pivotal in how this campaign has gone. So now Russia, that was previously our only enemy, oh no, sideshow, oh, not interested really. Um, so, the only, okay, we've got a couple of new units to look at. So Guardia de Corps, so let's get them out here. They look pretty good. I like them. I think they look pretty swish. I like the detailing around the hat. But they're pretty swish. Then we've also got the 21st foot guards. Wait, you melee only? Oh my god, that's really cool. I like that a lot. Oh, okay, these are like the um, their Royal Guard troops. That's pretty sweet. Let's have a look at the Lusitania Regiment of Dragoons. They look great in their mustard yellow cloak and mustard yellow tunics. Then we've also got the German Curacier Royal Regiments. I'm pretty sure all of those units I just looked at are from um, the additional units mod which if you guys don't have it get it because I've I think I'm on about 1300 hours of um, Empire Total War Total War and I mean this is a really badly balanced army now um, but I think it's really cool I really like it I mean it's probably great for attacking cities well ish um, yeah, I really like, really like this. I really like the additional units mod and what it's done for the game. And I was, I feared the Lusitania Dragoons would have a ranged component, which I might forget one day because their thumbnail has a, a musket on it. But no, even though, do they have, they're modelled with carbines. Oh, they're okay. No, it's only if I dismount them. Fine. Cool. And then, oh, Germans are going to go on the left flank. Our general is going to be in the center. So we need to push up hard and fast because we've got mortars against us. Yeah, 
Yeah, all the artillery is opening up. But everyone just getting moving. All focusing on their artillery, which I'm not that bothered by. Focus my howitzers on... That, you, that garrison line unit is great. She attack ground right here. Yet the mortars are firing, so... Fortunately, they're usually stuck on... Um, trying to kill our, mount, our melee troops rather than our actual important troops. They really like killing pikes. So it's not ideal from a maximum firepower perspective because you've got units with 188 men in. Oh, these are new. I didn't look at these either. Yeah, Regimento de Infantia in Memoria del Rey. They look really good. God oh, damn, Spain has a pretty cool roster. Are they within range? Plenty of units are in range. Guard the ad de corps. Hit the provincial militia. Lusitania Dragoons. I think they, oh, they advanced to point blank range, so... Good. A couple of volleys and they're off. German Crossier get on the move. You guys open fire. Yeah, you guys are upset because you took a close range of volley. So I know you can dismount Dragoons, but it just never... I never see... It never seems to be as useful as simply using them as like a heavier cavalry. Okay, don't... No, don't charge them. Stay out of the way. They're routing. Hit the firelock arm citizenry in the flank. you got to charge the militia, because otherwise they'll... They'll get you. If they charge us, that will be pretty funny, because we've got um, all these melee troops just spoiling for a fight. Firelock arm citizenry is going down. I mean, my melee infantry hasn't really... Hasn't really got the workout that they probably would like to have had. So you men form up. You guys charge the provincial... You guys charge those guys that are at the back. All my guns back here bombard. Ah! No, Dragoons. Nuts. Get the hell out of here. Enemy general's been killed. All my field artillery engage the provincial line. All my howitzers. Yeah, they're just short, so cease fire, howitzers. Some good kills. There we go. Clear them out. Yeah, I would like to do some rejigging around this army. It's lots, got lots of really cool elites, but it's actually quite small and a bit not so balanced, having three melee units in one list. So I think I'm going to be losing a pike unit if I had to choose. There you, go. you guys come down and hit the provincial line. Let's bring the pikes to back them up. See, we've been a bit slapdash here with our treatment of our troops. Smash. So the general's not really getting a look in as far as a troop killing perspective. But there are other units are having a great time. Yeah, you guys go after the 83rd. You're chasing down a unit. You guys go after the Firelock Arm Citizenry. You guys are chasing down the 84th. That's fine. Oh, the Mortar, the mortar Garrison's coming back. 
If only we could get to our guns, then we could turn this all at- Nope. Not anymore. Yeah, my pikes are gonna hit. The 83rd. Yeah, they're gonna go down. Let's try getting my general's bodyguard up here. Although I fear it's pretty- it's very, very late to try a manoeuvre like that. Not them trying a manoeuvre, it's just more about is it possible to get my general enough kills to uh, gain a bar of experience? I don't, th I think the answer is a no. Well, actually no it's not. Well don't go for the Swiss Guard because it doesn't matter. Yeah, my general will get experience level up. Although somewhere, is there a unit that's hidden? Because we've not had the... Aha! Provincial Militia came back. Yeah, my general should gain some experience here. Let's just speed up time. It's just that unit of Militia. And we're going to continue. It's not about... Need... It's just about trying to gain some more experience for our for our cavalry because they have especially our Lusitania Dragoons they've lost a lot more men than than is definitely ideal take out the last militia there you guys between you take out this unit of militia here Still, we took the city. City of Lights is now the city of yellower lights, because we're Spain. Awesome. So you guys are away. Classic University destroyed. That's not that's gonna help, but not solve the problem, especially as we don't have any cash. So I might actually go So Iron Masters Works, knock you down. And the same here. I know they only had one turn to go, but repairing these buildings in Paris will help us more immediately. Good. So knocking down the university will get us down to minus four or five, but repairing the buildings will really help. There's a lot of priests there. You can't really do anything, so let's hop over to the Americas and then go, okay, let's take Diego de Cordoba, go and attack Albany. Take that away from the French. I mean, it is a bit of a risky manoeuvre, and we're probably going to be in, um, stuck in a bit of a quagmire in Western Europe because of it. Especially when our money goes, because we're going to lose a lot of cash. Because we no longer have trade with the French. But the hope is that we can begin to offset that with good solid tax growth. Although it's going to really suck at the start when we go down to about... We've, we've lost about half of our profit. Again, this is another army that's really off balance. Because you've got three... Three skirmish. Well, it's, well, it's not. It is off balance because you've got three skirmish units. I didn't mean to bring them back into the group, but whatever. I suppose because they don't have any artillery. That's okay. Just leave as is. It's only a line of militia we're facing anyway. Militia with a couple of units of line. Philadelphia I might actually hold on to. Well, I might, like, um... 
siege it or let them continue to siege it. So I wonder if you guys can actually get up here and fire over their heads. But yeah, I think I will, I will keep Philadelphia under siege and then... So I don't have too many financial commitments in one turn. God, I can my marines. Oh, they look really cool. The colonial line, which again, I think look really neat. Provincial cavalry get very aggressive with... I mean, look at this. <laughs> Melee time. Right into their faces, so you guys charge. Yeah, they've routed, let them. Carry on. I mean, I know it's really dumb just to run up like that, but to be honest, we've absolutely just annihilated like the left flank is just gone. They're already upset at what's going on. You guys cease fire. Commit my pikes to the fight. There we go. Yeah, you guys cease fire. You guys knock out the 86th. Push along into the 87th. Just keep going. Uh, you guys just chase them down with with your swords. No, no. Do you use ah uh, hatchets? That's what you use hatchets. I'm sure I told me I would stop firing. You guys charge the 88th in the rear. And there they go. <laughs> Cease fire! <laughs> well, not so heroic. Don't give up the ship. Yeah. So that's Albany secured, which is giving us 320 cash a turn. Uh, 22,000 a turn. That's not so bad for losing trade with the Ottomans. Losing trade with the French, sorry. Especially as we're going to start to pick our way through the bones of their empire. So once this army's ready, I want to march something up to no up north. That was our agent back there. But yeah, let's hit end turn. Let's see what the French do back to us. Because I can't imagine they let us get away with it. They've got troops to the south, south of Paris, which will likely just start raiding. Good. Run troops away. Opportunity to intercept. absurd freaking lootly because that's all of their army. And I'm not going to auto-resolve it, because I, I can't afford to lose men here. I'm going to have to fight it. Push the city... Push the troops away from the city... And then, and then uh, storm Amsterdam and take it for myself. I mean, I would really like to tax Paris, but I just can't afford any rebellions. But once Paris is repaired, or well, yeah, when it's repaired, I really want to just maximize my recruitment from there. So let's just put you guys, just you guys there. Everyone else. Wait behind howitzers. Carcass shot. Cavalry on either flank. Oh, I see. It's going to be like that, is it? Let's just speed this up, because uh, 
It's just going to be a slaughter. Fusiliers. They've got a couple of units out on the flank that might do some damage, but we've got pikes. That will more than annihilate their cavalry. Got blunderbuss shotgunners. Here they come. Just run my pikes out to engage them. They're advancing in column. In typical French style, they didn't realise their allies had worked out that wrinkle. Deploy the regiment of horse. Ah, they're going after our regiment of horse. Too bad you got hussars. So I've got the general's bodyguard out there to clean that up. You guys cease fire because you'll start to kill your own men. There we go. You guys all drop into square. Clear them out. Yeah, that'll do. Something like that. Chasseur Cheval, you're missile cavalry, aren't you? So let's get my regiment of horse out and about. Have you guys killed their horse grenadier guards yet? Nearly. There we go. You guys are going to reload and cut down the blunderbuss shotgunners, and that's going to be great. Let's bring my cavalry in against the Chasseur à Cheval. Let's assume they do that successfully. Their men are dropping pikes. They think it'll matter. Chase down the blunderbuss shotgunners. Just make sure they die. Engineers dropping down spikes. Just means I've got to be careful when I... Well, if I pursue them. Not really sure if I'm bothered about pursuing them or not. Once we've... Uh, once we've done a lot of damage to them, I'm not really that bothered. Although they may end up... Breaking before that happens. Where's my other cavalry unit? Okay, let's run you around the back of these spikes. Yep, good old missile cavalry. You're gonna get taken out. Oh, see, they're doing it again. I can't even get my cavalry onto flank successfully because they're just gonna go, no, let's send our engineers down there. It's like, no. Leave my cavalry alone. Get all our howitzers to focus on the ninth foot guards. Keep driving hard towards the engineers so they don't feel like they can just ignore my infantry that's right here. the name of the game. Because if you guys could route the engineers, great stuff. The 
if you guys could route these engineers. Because at least it will prevent a good chunk of the enemy from actually uh, surviving on the campaign map. My general's bodyguard's on his way, but he's he was a long way off. So we might not actually be able to get that other unit of engineers that we would like. Yeah, we've got a good number of them, but not as not as many as we'd like. And they're gonna they are going to escape, although we might get some lucky carcass shot kills because they've all bundled up on the corner of this here farmhouse. Now, there they go. As the shells were coming in. For God's sake, be sure you do not risk the cannon. I risk the cannon all the time, it's fine. But there we go. So the advantage of this is that it's pushed, I mean, it has kind of pushed a lot of the problem over onto Brussels. But Amsterdam is now vulnerable. Yeah, Boston is vulnerable. And the enemy will recover. They've abandoned the western the west coast of Africa. They've deployed more troops ashore there. Ah, the French are starting to clear out our... Hey, we won. Let's bring the fourth rate into service. Good stuff. Oh, they didn't attack Paris. They've stood off just outside it. That'll get, that will give us a bit of time. A bit of breathing space. Because the French are... Uh, they're aware of what's happening. Yeah, you can take Annapolis. You lost 385 men to do it. But yeah, we need to... I think the army that's in that's currently in um, Madrid needs to march... Okay, they're going to—they're sallying out, which is great. And I am going to fight it, but looking at the timer, I believe it's something for the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the defense outside the gates of Philadelphia. Cheers, everyone.